Hello everyone, it's the Unisex of the UWK. Um, welcome to this webinar. Um, we're on pre-market session and we're going to look at some chat setup we have for next week and how we want to approach the, the week to come. Okay, uh, we'll just go straight into the chat and then I'll show you quickly what we're going to be looking at for next week. What we're going to look for, next, for next week is what we've always um, keep up um, um, on the back of our minds every time we come into the chat. And I want to start with Biggs, okay? I want to start with Biggs, and um, I, I often share this every time, all right, when I'm starting my session, and um, I look at Biggs, um, um, Biggs, okay? Biggs did direct drop, so I'm looking at Biggs coming down to this zone. So if Biggs come down to this zone, definitely the AUD will always continue to go up. Definitely all one of the things with the AUD continue to go up, so guys, so we can see that back of our mind, and nothing can change that kind of AUD as long as this is coming or having potential of coming down. So you look at this at the weekly time frame, everything looks bearish, okay, at the same time, and also from the monthly time frame, everything keeps looking bearish. And this was um, what actually gave it up. So we're looking at the bearish um, setup of the day to come back to the testing this load one more time. And only that time we can look for that um, certain day, but overall, um, this is coming down. So definitely one of the world, the world start doing anything with it. Uh, you do some of the AED. So let's just go straight to the next week what we have with um the news. So the news we have um the um um Fed chair power switch on Tuesday and um Monday we have um Bank of um Japan holiday and um on Wednesday we have the end of the official um cash rate and also the um reserve bank of New Zealand also making the rest statements and also on um Wednesday so we have the um French rush services payment. And um, we also have on Wednesday um, the first manufacturing payment for the USD. We also have the six francs uh, monetary policy assessment, and we also have the Bank of England Governor Bailey speaks as well on Thursday. And um, that'll be all for the news. So let's just go into the chat to see what we have for the chat uh, for next week. Wow, wow. I'm also excited when I come into the chat to try and um, um, look at the chat, okay, to see what I have. In terms of how I want to approach the week, okay, and um, I'm I'm a, I'm a bear, I'm a bear on um, 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 the risk um, on currency, okay. So I I will never be a bear, okay. So I will always turn risk on currency. So I want you for opportunity to um, only long, okay. AD USD, and the USD, okay. I will for to short the USD only when I find exhaustion, okay. So um, here we start with the um, USDCHF. USDCHF, um, talk about USDCHF here, drop. There was no real um, um, structure here, okay? I speak about this many times, okay? I speak about this many times that um, whenever you find things like this in the market, okay? And if you're looking at this, even though we're looking at this structure as a whole, breakout, okay? This candle, this candle, this candle, this candle, this candle gave up everything and you saw market drop. So we're looking at market then dropping um, back into the 0 0.8680, okay? Wow, that's where market is gonna drop into um, for the USD future. Not too worried about it, guys, not too worried about it. So how do we approach this? Um, for last week, I was more of um, watching the whole of last week. Whole of last week, I was more of watching what all these things were doing here. This, this, this. This was supposed to be wait, be better, but rather continue. Let's try to push back, drop one more time. This push price back. Now we are having this sell here. So if we go down to a daily time frame, we will be able to see that we have a huge resistance up here. So that would not be enough for price, okay? Because definitely this week here, price will always try to come in and fill this week or the daily. This week cannot go on challenge. It cannot go unchallenged. Okay, guys, understand that. It can go unchallenged. Price will always try to want to challenge this week 
period. So if we go down to the H4, we can see that this is a high. Definitely, price will try and do everything possible to challenge this week and act as if it's breaking out of the structure. And then we'll find liquidity inside of this zone to the downside. But we will need a daily confirmation, a daily confirmation of this point. So definitely, price can as well come back into testing this high. But we need a daily confirmation before a check of this high around this area here to look for that short sell. And you're going to write it breaking below this previous structure. Why do I feel ready now? Um, looking at the whole market scenario, this is the monthly time frame. Okay. So for here, we are already on um, 19, okay, which we have um, less than 11 days to complete the month. So looking at this setup alone, if we go down to the line chart, we would see that this looks like an inverted and shoulder. But looking at it on a real sense, okay, on a real sense, daily, this is not an inverted and shoulder. All right, get that straight. So definitely, I will be looking for a failed continuation for a drop down one more time. So the price should count it one more time. Okay, so I had been waiting for all this for last week and um, it didn't come. So I, I don't like to be in a hurry to get this kind of trade because for this candle alone, right, I was sure that whatever will happen here will form an S call. Okay, I don't want to talk about this much. So I'll just clear up and um, look for entries around this zone and um, not the classic. In JPY, um, we looked at JPY. Um, we want to um, do something around here. We want to um, get into a trade down here on confirmation from the daily, but the daily candle came straight through it. So we never really had that confirmation which we spoke about because we wanted to only take the trade back into here for the next drop to happen. So definitely, if that did not happen last week, I would be expecting that um, GSM might still try to do some retracement of some sort into coming back to that level because this candle alone gave up everything. But I wanted to see a more range bound before that drop. I don't, I want I expected a retracement of some sort before the drop, but this candle showed indecision and drop so which means the ladder the u-trend will be to downside so it's going to have a little bit of retracement you can then expect the drop downside and look at the monthly time frame so far so good um we cannot be taking a short trade or buy trade because we don't want to um, um a situation whereby we come into the trade and you know everything just stalled there and we see the the um, candle close at an initial candle that will be really painful for us to see so we want to be seeing price, then do a retracement, coming back into feeling the structure. But definitely, if that will happen on a monthly time frame, I think um, there will be um, much of a retracement to try and get it high before the next drop, because this will be an initial candle. So this will be one, two, third rally. Should try and push back up before the drop. Definitely, I want to be seeing also things like market here, the drop, you know, we want to be seeing all these kind of things in the market, you know, definitely, it works every time. It's, that's how the market just basically moves, okay? We want to be seeing this drop, rise, drop, rise again, all right? So couldn't rise, we drop. So definitely, we want to be seeing all these things happen in the market, definitely how the market moves generally. So we want to be seeing, what we want to be seeing for next week, we want to be seeing that rise trying to come into the market of some sort. If it doesn't come in, I think that that would not be any of a problem because we'll not be looking to further short this phase. We're looking at um, ATR already, we've lost um, minus 1.25% on the week. Here, okay, so we've really lost. So we're looking at the ATR in terms of weekly ATR, monthly ATR for this currency. I, I don't think it would be a nice time to actually start shutting this pay at the moment. Okay, so we'll just leave it there and then walk away. All right, the Euro USD. Euro USD, um, we should continue going long for the Euro USD, but um, looking at everything technically, this kind of started to store. And if you look at the euro indices here, what the euro indices is actually doing for last week, um, there was a decision here, okay, for a reversal here. There was a decision here for a reversal here. And if we quite come to um, look at this decision here on a weekly time frame for that reversal, okay. And let's see what happened here. Let's just restrict this to, um, Weekly, we don't want it to show on the monthly. Okay, 
So there was a diction here for Ibeta, and this was quite good, okay? Five came in bullish. So everything for this pay is bullish, okay? If it was to be bearish, you would have seen price strong K below here. So the price for euro is still to the upside against the USD. So what we'll be looking for to do, we'll be looking at the next candle. So I'm coming out here this week, ending the week. All of this, all of this come in to try and figure the week. Okay, so we started having some push up here. So what we'll do for next week, we'll just leave euro as it is. Okay, we'll just leave euro as, as, as it is, okay, and wait for a retest, a retest of this structure. So in in next week, we are going to wait for a retest of this structure and a confirmation on the daily before we can then look to go on. So what we're we'll doing with the euro? So definitely for the euro USD, we'll see um, this also reflecting with the euro USD. And um, I like to speak about this many of the time. You know, people don't get this right. Um, let me just try much to explain this. I know it will not make much meaning to. Um, my viewers out there, but I would just try and make it keep it simple, okay? For since the case you understand it perfectly. This push upside, correction, impulse, correction, should follow the next impulse. So if price stalled in here, failed to make a next rise, definitely price has found no demand here. Price made this low. Further came made this low. Definitely, price would want to try and make a next low into finding demand before the next rally to the upside. Get this guy. It's that easy. It, you don't really need to rush into decisions in the market. I'm a bull on euro. I'm a bull. Okay, no two ways about it. I have to wait for my time as a bull to be involved on a bullish trend. Daily time frame. It's beginning to show all the signs. The signs are there. Remember, I spoke about weeks being challenged. Okay, weeks being challenged. This week, whatever happens here, even though price would go up, would always come down to challenge this week. If on a Monday price goes up, Monday price will always come back down to challenge this week. That's what I think of price. It will come down to challenge this week. It will look for reason to challenge this week very strongly and to test it, shake off any weak holders in the market in order to do whatever it wants to do best. So this would be a very good sell entry for price. If we could have a daily confirmation for the DS on the market, we can have a sell order here with a daily confirmation here to short price to downside. So we're looking at this area around the 1.9 would be a very good area to start shutting the euro USD to the downside. Only with a daily confirmation, guys. Only with a daily confirmation. A daily confirmation will actually prove this to be right, okay? Anything other than that, I don't think you should be looking to take any trade as a day, okay, in the market. Uh, all right, just wait for that confirmation there. Sometimes you might not get up to here because we definitely, no, 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 no. We will get up to that point. Yeah, 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 yeah. They will get up to that point. This candle alone, I'm going to speak about this candle with the Euro CHS. This candle alone came up. Definitely all this price will come up to test this structure. Definitely. So if this is selling, this should be the next impulse correction. So next impulse should be to down upside to test it all this structure before down the next rise to test past the low. Definitely want to see that in the market. So the whole of next week, we'll just be watching the Euro actually perform all its one that and we'll just be watching it until we have a three dimensional one we to do next. So the NZD, okay. NZD USD. NZD USD, we spoke about the NZD USD um, impulse, correction, impulse, correction, impulse, correction, impulse, correction. So the next impulse is the upside. And as you can see on a weekly time frame, it has started to show indications of an impulse also confirming this breaking this high. Definitely want to start looking for this bullish setup on the NZD pay. So when I was starting for commercial confirmations, on the monthly time frame, we have seen that so far we are at indication level, and that is very awesome as we could see how price then rallied down into this low, actually coming up from this point on, and we expect price to make further rise to the upside. 
So we go on to daily time frame. Daily time frame will actually show us or give us an indication of what we want to be seeing in terms of a clearer picture. So what we're going to be doing for next week, we're going to put up this line here. For next week, we're going to put up this line here. And we're going to watch for a demand. Okay, we're going to watch for our demand to um, confirm. Okay, we're going to watch for confirmation on a daily time frame. All right, we're going to watch for confirmation on a daily time frame. And um, that would be a nice time to actually look to buy. Okay, confirmation from a daily time frame will actually um, indicate okay, what we want to be seeing because definitely this on H4 drop couldn't rise so would further make drops to the downside so i expect that to happen and um possibly whenever we have the next indication from a daily time frame along this way i think it would be a nice time to look at areas around this one for every level level for this kind of setup around this level so around this level of the 61.8 level we're going to start looking for the setup around the 0 0.6723 areas we don't want to wait for start looking for the setup but we need a confirmation from the daily um, um candle okay because also what we did here was also similar okay we waited the whole of here just to find this confirmation here from a daily candle because when market dropped massively okay we want to see correction impulse which fell the next push broke above here i'm just hopping to the trade and our risk was down here so it was such a wonderful trade that allowed us to open a buy trade here risking 69 pips and targeting the 127 of the United extension which was the 225 pips and that was very classy trade there was a 127 and we hopped into that trade wonderfully within 60 pips and targeting the 223 pips that was very awesome and it, it took us about two weeks to actually come to that set up alone so it was really really wonderful okay so let's go straight to the AUD what I think of the AUD USD at the moment AUD USD um I overall want to be bullish on the AUD, AUD USD um irrespective of whatever the setup will be in the market okay so we look at the AUD USD this candle here was good okay this indicates the bullish setup retracement with this candle came back couldn't test the low so this low is still open for a test this low is still open for a test so what we're going to be doing we're, we're going to keep this at the back of our mind okay we're going to keep this level at the back of our mind for a test okay we're going to keep this level at the back of our mind for a test the 0 0.71 okay for a test so definitely we're going to be looking at various things if if this was a confirmation for a bearish structure okay that couldn't rally fell back okay started going up okay so if the next daily candle the next daily candle can take over all this high here guys i think it would be a nice time to look for a replacement good one to look for um buy but a monthly time frame I think we have truncated so which means indicate that we have more chance of moving to the upside and more room in terms of the monthly atr okay so the monthly atr so far has dropped okay so we are actually going on the negative okay negative here around the monthly because on the daily so when negative on the monthly so we can actually come down into testing the monthly low okay so which if that would happen, I think it would be a nice time to look at the monthly ATR, which is 307 pips. We can then look at the monthly ATR, 307 pips. So, so far, we are risking, we have dropped 221. So, we're just left with um, um, about 80 okay, at the max. So, we can just risk 80 pips down here. And then, target the monthly ATR, which is going to be our target, will be up to somewhere around here, about the 300 pips. That would be very awesome to see. That might take about two weeks to actually complete. And that would be very awesome. It's a very a wonderful trade to take. And uh, from a trading perspective, that would be a very awesome trade to take. So we need to see a test of this zone. Test of this zone will be very classic. We need to see a test of this zone. So this initial candle, okay, market didn't decide what to do. Next initial candle, definitely uh, price will try and fail of some sort. So try and fail of some sort to the downside. So try and fail of some sort to the downside into testing back a low before then close as an initial candle one more time. 
or you can close. It basically doesn't need to be addition candle. Okay, the next close can actually be a bearish candle. If it's a bearish candle, whatever structure of a bearish candle, apart from a ceiling candle, will actually be a good indication for a bullish setup. So if we can have this candle kind of close in this format, I think the next candle will push to the upside. That will be a very nice time to actually look to go long on the um the AUD USD. Okay, so next on our list, we'll talk about the GBP. Um GP USD. I will not be taking any trade from the GPUSD at the moment, okay, as a whole, because um, why would I be taking any trade from the GPUSD? This was a great demand here around this zone. As you can see how prices um, spiked up here, but here could be a retracement and for a continuation to the upside, but definitely we do not know at the moment. So if you're looking at it from a weekly perspective, we can see that here on a weekly perspective, how price fades. Okay, so definitely what I was expecting to see from here around this point, I was expecting some bit of reversal here. But price came into this point, showed indecision one, which was supposed to be followed by a reversal, showed the next indecision, and showed it the filling candle, and price then moved to the upside. Next engine candle came, BS came into the market from that opportunity. Definitely, the BS are still in control of the market. So, whatever is going to happen here, I think I'll just wait for my time as a day in the market to actually shut this trade down, down back into its lows. Okay, but definitely, you understand, guys, that there, I, I, I want to be a, I be in, a, be in this market, all right, definitely, but I just can't just wake up one morning and then start taking crazy decisions um, about this pay because definitely if you look at this structure here, we are still far out from the nearest structure here in terms of monthly. We are still far out from the, the, the next monthly structure. So if you're looking at, even at the weekly level, if you're looking at it from the weekly level, we can see that that next monthly structure aligns well with this structure which we have here and definitely price we want to actually try and do a test of this structure but definitely if you're looking at the market for a fail or a reversal of some sort i think price is kind of sort of ready for a drop to the downside because this candle alone could actually indicate a lot of things okay and what i want to be doing so i'm a bit on this way okay i'm a bit on this way so i will not take immediate decision yet but this is also an indication of a failed rally. So we have to look at this as impulse, correction, impulse, correction, and a very massive drop to the downside into testing this look one more time. I think that's very awesome to see. But um, we need to look at the um, um, the USD, actually how it's faring. And for the USD, I think it looks pretty cool, okay, in, uh, in terms of um, a bullish setup. Okay, so if we would look at the next um, daily candle for here, and if it's going to be bullish. Okay, if it's going to be bullish, you will just look for opportunity to hop into the trade for um, a short um, um, trade on the GDP USD. Okay, because definitely I am bearish on that pay. So I want to be looking for opportunity to be a bit on that pay. But looking at the indices overall, the indices overall is really not um, friendly in terms of the beer because this is an indecision candle. And definitely, if this could actually fail, might actually come back into testing this loss. And that would be the only time to look for those short trades that will be early in the week because definitely we we can't really expect to see a rally up to test this structure before then the next drop we can't really expect to see that because all the things reflected here in the market and we can see this rise so this is so if this could be our way four this could be our first a leg you can expect a b leg you can expect to see leg to the downside so um all these things are supporting in the market but we need to see what the monday range would, would have for us in terms of from a trading perspective so i uh, will just keep our minds and our souls glued to um, this structure, so we could actually look at the H4 for some sort of range bound movement. Okay, so if we can actually have um, Monday come into testing this lows, rise back into here on a confirmation of the daily candle, we can actually look to go short. But definitely, we want to see more, we want to stack up those confirmations because the weekly um, time frame doesn't favor the day. So we can actually have Fred actually stay here for um, about a week before making anything um, in terms of decision making and also can actually alter a lot of daily um, uh, um, um, setups here. Okay, but actually come down to testing this structure and moving back into that resistance which we spoke about and try to expand of some sort um, before now the next rally to the downside. Okay, so um, USD card, USD card, I also similar to, this is also similar to what I'm speaking about with the GBP USD also on a weekly time frame. You can see the, the GBP, um, the USD, card came in, filling candle came in, showed indecision. So this indecision is actually going to send price back into this low. Understand this point, guys. 
he finds the comment to share invitation after a bullish setup, okay, a, a feeling candle. I speak about this many times with the student, and this actually gave us an entry here. Next week, invitation candle push up, we look for a truncate. So definitely, we're going to be waiting for this truncate to come in and then back into this low. That's what we're going to be looking at, and definitely, I, I, I expect that all the students should be ready. Definitely, my students are ready. I don't know if you're ready. So what we're going to be looking at, we're going to be looking at the weekly ATR, the monthly ATR, in order to be able to put up a certain level of risk. Okay, and um, that would be very awesome for us to see. So we look at the monthly ATR for um, the monthly ATR for the USD, um, the 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 USD card. The monthly ATR is three hundred and ninety-seven pips. So we just look at what we have for the monthly ATR so far. The the, the um the pay has rose about um two twenty-three. So from this high is a is a good enough area to risk um um risk move to. 233. So from going up area to risk um 50, 60 pips, you can risk 50 pips at max to target the downside. So 210 pips risk 50 pips. That we wanted to fall with yeah, what nice. at this um resistance here. So that would be very um cool. We want to see price coming to testing this high one more time. And if that happens, we can look to short from this high with 50 pips from that point on the downside. That would be very classic test to take. Okay, um, let's go down to the Euro GDP, what I think of the Euro GDP and also the GDP um, 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 correlated pace, okay, in terms of how they move. Okay, let's just go down there. Wow, something happened already. Okay, um, we'll start with the uh, Euro GDP. Euro GDP on a monthly time frame, we are looking at a classic setup of an impulse correction, impulse correction, impulse. Very good. Okay. So what we're going to be looking at, we are currently seeing a monthly um, um, time frame candle, which is yet to complete. But definitely, we want to wait for those compressions to stack up. So what we did here, and the last time we actually had this support down here on a monthly time frame. Okay, so we just saw how initial candle came in here, and which was also a classic test. But the next candle we wanted to see was um, some sort of slow movement. Okay, but rather we had this huge movement to the upside. And we didn't want to be in such a hurry to actually expect that the next candle should actually be a filling candle to the upside and we can then just keep on riding it. But this actually showed a very strong movement. So if this actually took away all these trends, okay, so which means it is definitely going to correct of some sort and expand for the next rally to the upside. Also similar to what happened here, impulse correction, impulse expansion for the next impulse. So it's going to wait to gather more momentum to the downside for the next impulse. So what we're going to be doing as traders we are going to be watching out for those levels. So what we are going to be doing, we're going to be putting up our structure here and wait, wait. So we're going to wait. We're not going to be in such a hurry to do anything. We're going to wait. So our structures here, you can see how it aligns well with this structure here of a failed rally here. So here we're going to wait for setup. How are we going to do that? Everything looks bullish here, but this candle is wrong. This candle here is wrong for a we better so we're going to wait this is indecision kind of high week low week medium body so whatever is happening here we're going to wait for some sort of ace call before we can then continue the trend yeah that is that is that easy you know you just need to understand what to look for in the market not just random thing okay um um <laughs> Okay, not just a dumb thing. This is a, um, a bullish flag, and you can see how everything is playing in the market. And though we, we didn't catch that, but um, we actually were ready for it. So we look at the Euro card. We spoke about the Euro card two weeks ago, and last week we did not take any trade with the Euro card. And we spoke about the Euro card actually doing a lot of things. Okay, so one of the things we spoke about the Euro card doing that the GW. Um, Masters have actually set up um, this area of the 1.68 as like, our 2020 target, and that's what we want to run in this trade into. After we hopped it into a very good trade around this low, it's very easy when you look at the market from a wider uh, um, um, perspective. Okay, so when you look at the CO2 report, it gives an idea of what you want to be doing in the market. So we have our 2020 target here 2020 CP1, 2020 CP2, which get up there before um, the end of the year. And if you're looking at where we got into a trade around this area here, so this would be very classic of 1,733 pips and our CP1 would be 1,000 pips. So that would be very awesome for us to see. Okay, just imagine that in your mind with a one standard loss. Imagine with your mind, imagine with your mind. 
but in your mind. So if you check this kind of thread um, three times a year, I think um, you understand why I'm talking about with the one standard loss. Very, very easy and very simple when you come into the market actually thinking like um, a lot more. Walk in the footsteps of the large money. So here, what do we have here? We have um, a very classic structure here of impulse, high, weakest, the next impulse. Okay, so we are expecting the next impulse to be to the upside. Okay, but we need it to be ready on a weekly basis. Okay, on a weekly basis, we need to be ready. I I don't know what happened here, but whatever happened here, I think um, this impulse, correction, impulse, okay, this should have been a follow up but if this is not following up this move whatever will bring price back into this structure i think i will be glad to oblige to buy anything without a confirmation here i the reason why i want to do that is because i i don't want to wait on the daily i don't want to wait on the weekly to confirm that i want to go wait on the daily because this was a bullish setup here so so far so good we have not yet failed you know, price have not yet failed in any way, okay? It's a classic movement, impulse, correction, impulse, okay? Just that this high is not yet taken over, but here is a classic movement of a retracement could also impulse. So if you're looking at the next candle, if the next candle will break above this point on a daily, okay, we will look to take up that buy order here, okay? And our risk will be somewhere down here. And if you're looking at it at, as from a technical aspect of in terms of selling wise, if you put up a buy order here and a close, we'll target the high hub here, which is 300 pips, and we'll target the risk, which, which will be down here at this low, which will go on down 70. That will not really be um, a wonderful trade to take, guys. So we'll just wait for stack of confirmation so that our risk reward will be massive. We need to wait for that. All right, so we just need to wait for that day, okay? For that day because i suspect a lot of things could happen here things would go wrong here this candle indecision candle closed there was no follow-up of a bearish structure back into this zone so if price so far have not been able to take out this high i think there's still a huge possibility that price would drop one more time into testing back the lows or finding liquidity around this structure or this structure that's my assumption because um, I've seen many things in the market, also how the market actually stays, okay. Um, all right, indecision candle, came in bullish, this came in strong, indecision candle, indecision candle, failed to move to the upside, and we saw how everything dropped to the downside. So if this is indecision candle, bearish candle, indecision candle, okay, not deciding what it wants to do. Okay, it's not to say what it wants to do, whether it's go down or go up. So I can respect, respect um, if all of this looks like anything kind of feel. So um, the bill can actually come in and capture the market and send the market down to um, back into its lows where the bull last found itself. So it, it's a huge possibility too. So I don't want to be looking at that. On Friday, I gave out a trade signal for a sale of the um, GPJPY, which was as a result of this setup alone. And I spoke about this all every time with the students that whenever you find this setup alone in the market, this is an, a bullish um, 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 signal. Okay, this is a bullish signal. Okay, feeling candle, but followed up with an indecision candle. Next one, indecision candle is wrong. It's going to be failed rally because definitely indecision candle should follow up with a very strong bullish candle. And if it's not following up that way, I don't think the bulls are actually in the market. So definitely, we actually saw this fell one more time, and I, I was ready for. A, a next sell down to this low. Definitely, this this is failing. It's not going up, guys. It, there is no demand here. There's no demand here. Get this, guys. It's very simple to look at the market and then make this decision with in which app. There's no demand here in the market, and definitely the market can actually still drop one more further time next week into finding demand. Even though we are at a very key area here, so definitely for this week I will be looking to avoid this pay for this week because I actually close that market. Um, that trade at market close. So. If this is an indecision candle around a key structure, definitely you want to see the next um, um, indecision candle around the key structure, and then we we'll then look at the pay then um, moving into a new direction, which we do not do at the moment until we have a confirmation of some sort. So also similar here with the GP and the this indecision candle, okay here, and no real um, direction of where the market is going to. So we're just going to leave it at that. We're not going to talk about that also. 
We're going to talk about um, the GDP AUD, which we looked at and we talk about many of the time that we need this to come back up a little bit. Okay, so if this is on a monthly time frame, we need to confirm that this has actually fell on a monthly time frame. We don't want this to come back and close it as a week because if it's coming back to closing as a week inside of this um, um, structure, as a week inside of the structure, it's going to be a very different ballgame entirely and we can have some pushes up there before the new next drop. So we don't want to see that. We just want to avoid that and wait for some bit of confirmation. So if price would actually close this way on last week, we want to see a confirmation of the sell reversal by an individual weekly candle forming here and we can expect that drop to the downside. So we're just going to be looking at how everything is going in the market. So far, so good. We're having two initial candles actually um, on Thursday and Friday indicating um, weakness also coming back into the market. So, but we need to um, understand the next direction of the market without just jumping into the trade. So we cannot just see this and then start jumping into the trade and um, doing every, every crazy thing. So definitely what I think in my in my own opinion as a trader as, as being over a long term. Okay, so if I have these two initial candles, definitely I can expect the next candle to be a bullish one as it's not coming and testing this resistance due to the fact that today is um, already past half of the month so we can actually look at the monthly can actually closing in this format as an uh, a, a feeling for next month so the next feeling can month can actually make a push up and then and that drops the downside that's why i expect to see off that because definitely if you're looking at overall what we want to be doing at the market i spoke about this early in this presentation that overall i want to be bullish on the risk on asset and if i'm bullish on the risk on asset anything again the risk on asset should be going down so the gp aud should be going down as you can see here so we're looking at this still further going down and also um EU AUD should also be going down because of their paid with the risk on asset okay so risk on asset is going to be more powerful over um um seven months span eight months span or a year span probably also similar to what also happened here after the great financial crisis also here we saw here back then also in 2008 which will also be rich on, on GP AUD also as a business crisis. So we are actually going to see something of this nature. So we don't need to start thinking that the end is near. So definitely we only want to be rich on the GDP AUD, Euro AUD, Euro AUD, and all those um pays against any risk on asset. So risk on asset will be very strong. We're looking at the NZD going up to far back in the second, the 2018 high, 2019 high, and also breaking down. So definitely if you're looking at this coming down, I think it, it's more ideal to see price coming to testing okay this zone on the near term so that's what we're going to be looking at to do we're going to look at price coming down to set this one on the near term and that would be awesome and you know we can just not start rallying up here at the moment because we are already late into the in, in into into the trade so we're looking at we're just going to be stacking up some bit of confirmations here if we can have that confirmation but definitely what i want to be showing you guys i want to be showing you i want to give you a bazooka okay so this is going to be a bullish candle for the next week but we need to wait for uh, that confirmation Okay, we do it for that confirmation. And um, if this is going to trap people, on the next month, we are going to look for a reversal and sell running to downside. That will also increase our risk to reward. Okay, so we're going to have a more unique risk to reward for us to be able to take a trade back in from this structure here, which we also have format structure here, and we can then look to short the downside. That will also increase our risk to reward. Okay, GP card. What I think of the GP card, GP card actually last week came into near. A very good structure here, but we, we actually took a look at the daily candle also similar to what also happened with the um gpnzd we're looking at the daily candle actually how everything is going to be fine with the daily candle we need a confirmation of what direction the market will go next but definitely i would want to give you a tip heads up definitely the next candle will we'll try we'll try since this is a, a bullish setup what i what i would see for the next candle okay would be to try and move up again because this is a very good filling candle. Impulse, this is a correction. Next impulse. But you don't want to be buying up this high. What, where you want to be buying at, at least a conserved trader, you want to be waiting for price to at least come back into challenging all this loot. Okay, price will always come back to challenge all this loot. Wait for price to come back and challenge all this loot. And on the confirmation of the daily candle, you can then look to hop up on the trade. So if this is correcting and coming back to set this low, and on the third day, on the third day, in the same candle, I think it's a nice time to actually look for those bullish setup. Okay, I speak about this many times with the students, and I I teach this. This was also a similar situation here one day two day bullish but on the third day you saw drop 
So if this was an, a bearish edition candle, said they would have been bullish and confirmed the reversal, but here, two days. All right, so we look at all these things. Okay, this is edition candle, edition candle, bullish confirmation and that. So you need to keep this at the back of your mind as traders. Okay, you need to know how to do this consistently. So look at some sentiment. Before we wrap this session up, um, we really um, um, took our time, you know. I just want to show you guys what I think of the market for next week and how I'm going to be approaching this. You know, you need to actually learn to um, look at the market and be able to make that decision yourself. Okay, you don't really need an indicator to actually show you this. You just need to look at the chart and then look what is going on um, with the chart. Okay, so this was an indication candle here indicating um, a, um, a breathe out. Okay, so the next candle was supposed to be uh, either a continuation or a reversal, but this came in as a reversal, but we saw, we saw how briefly this actually came in but took over the flow. So the next candle was supposed to come in and be a base candle as you can see, okay, here. So this is an impulse correction impulse. So we can expect impulse to go up and then correct one more time before the next drop to the downside. And that'll be very awesome to see. And then we can then look at the left and then make that bold decision as a trader because definitely this is a diagonal and break up. So this, whatever is happening here is a retracement and the lighter degree turn is to the upside. Okay, I, I think I have, I have made a lot of explanations. But let's look at the monthly time frame, what the monthly time frame is talking about and why I think so. So you go back to the weekly time frame and you can see the weekly time frame that if price starts doing a correction, which I expect to see from next week, correct of some sort, okay, then the area of structure of concentration for monthly time frame is somewhere down here. So I'm expecting a retracement of some sort back into here and the next drop will be to the downside. That would be very awesome to see. So we're looking at many things here. So let's just go straight to another chart because there's no time and we want to be taking all the uh, possible charts which we want to be taking. Also similar to this one too with the scale shape, that's why we spoke about this before now with the students, that whatever is happening here is no concern of ours, okay? I, I many times like to leave, okay, the party, okay? It's no concern of ours. We just leave everything the way it is, okay? So everything the way it is because, um, this trade did something quite here, which gave us a very good trade. Okay, it, we got in a very good trade here. It was a very awesome trade. And now we are here. So here, I will need to. Give me a hotspot. I don't know.